So, we're gonna play a game probably not many, maybe no one has heard of. It's another Metroidvania, because I'm kind of into that genre now. And I saw a few videos of this game, it looked pretty good, gonna give it a chance. Not to mention it was pretty darn cheap. Like, it was about as much as Hollow Knight, around 14, 15 ish dollars. I'm gonna play normal mode, let me just read this first. Like how the modes are just named after the title. I mean, I want platforming. I don't want hard mode, though. Hmm. That is... Like, why would you deny me platforming on normal mode? I don't know. Let's just go to normal mode. Since he created space-time really. and populated the vast void with infinite universes. Upon contemplating his creation, he named it Aeterna. Innumerable beings were conceived, and proud of his work, he liberated them, blessing them with free will. The passage of time corrupted his utopia. The beings he had created were hungry for power and began to destroy their own existence. As a result, two main factions were formed, Light and Darkness, and they went to war against each other, eager to win power over Idenna, although it belonged to neither. Outraged, Chaos cursed the leaders with immortality obliging them to fight for eternity in the hope of maintaining the equilibrium that both were anxious to destroy. Cursed, the Queen of Light and the King of Darkness would fight to the death for the throne of Aeterna and to restore equilibrium. The defeated monarch would come back to life, condemned to fight once more for victory, and recover the power lost in battle. Chaos was pleased with himself, since he had achieved the alternate reign of light and darkness, thereby establishing a perfect equilibrium until the end of time, until eternity no longer existed until the end of all existence. Life after life. Life after life. The endless cycle of night and day. So I just did the, some brief research and comparisons on the two modes. I think I will be able to get a good exploration platforming experience at a normal mode. 
and it says that I can switch between modes at any time. So if so if I do want to try certain sections on hard mode, I could. So we'll just see how this rolls. I I assume uh I assume our Dark King here and the, the light the light queen they're gonna get together maybe. It kinda of seems like the typical demon and angel romance story. Alright, got our MacGuffins. Alrighty. Wasteland of the Fallen. Alright. Alright, we have a multi-directional slashes. That's neat. Okay. Seems to be our only basic attacks. That giant in the background. <laughs> okay, but of course we haven't really been to any of the trials, so I doubt we can use it now. So there's like 13 trials, good unlucky number, okay. Can we go any further? Yes, we can. You know, the game probably wanted me to go right first, but I'm going left. Already load screens. Uh, Hollow Knight didn't have those. Pretty sure Metroid didn't. Uh, what's this? We've got our first enemies, just generic slimes. What is this, Dragon Quest? Uh, Alright, we're gonna need like a wall cleaning ability. Fair enough. Let's like a wall jump now, no, we can't. So already, when I just attacked those slime dudes, I did a little sword bounce on them like you can do in Hollow Knight, so already drawing some similarities. I heard this game, uh, well, I saw in playlists that this game is really long, long much longer than Hollow Knight. And most infamously, I heard about a bad saving glitch where like the game crashes and you can lose hours and hours of progress so I'm very worried about that um, but you know the game looks good wanted, and it was cheap anyway so I just wanted to give it a try what do these flames do oh the Grim Reaper hi <laughs> That's why I'm speed reading this. <laughs> Fine, whatever helps. I mean, I can get the base controls already, but you know, there's might be some things I don't know about. Oh, this is neat. Wow. Yeah, yeah, d dude, yeah, I know. That is like every video game ever. Who do you think you're talking to? Yeah, we literally just did this. Dummy. Is that like a checkpoint or something? This reminds me a little bit of Celeste. 
Yep, you're telling me about something I already just did. I guess that's something you can platform off of. Okay, yeah, you can. I don't think you can do this in Hollow Knight, so that's neat. That's, but that's a Smash Bros. function right there. Alright. Those were platforming basics. Yippee. And that's kind of another reason I want to do normal mode. I, I like not to spend that long on this game. So even if I don't get as challenging platform puzzles, uh, it's nice to just take it easy, just explore. But if I'm in interested enough, I might see certain sections on hard mode. I don't know. No, I already made the first mistake. At least I can just go up like this. Okay, they split into small slimes. Good, good for them. Okay, so you can re recover by clicking up on the D-pad. Probably even up on the stick. I think it might be just be the D-pad, I don't know. Spite us. Oh, can we do the freaking... Can we do this? Looks like in Hollow Knight. That is a big fat no. Is that a heart piece? Uh, yeah, sorry, but I can already figure out the rest. Well, that's cool. Uh, you only need three heart pieces instead of four this time. It's fine by me. Good, I needed that. Well, so might as well just keep telling enemies to get this currency. Sure, we'll need lots of currency in the long run. So, just like Hollow Knight. Hey, even the minus button. 
Okay. So there are also quick travel points. Oh, that's awesome. Not read anything on this. Okay, so just now I spent like the only skill point I had. So I. All right, so I just improved my uh, my strength. Fair enough. Basics down, Pat. Because they only kill these guys in two hits, though. So, like, 20% extra strength isn't that much. Oh, jeez, didn't see you there. Oh. Well, hopefully I get an ability that lets me magnate fallen treasures to me. Like, the Hollow Knight Swarm badge. Awesome. Oh, you're a big guy. <laughs> oh, so you're the guy that documents uh, our lives. Oh, you're the you're just the chronicler, just like the chronicler from Spyro, who does the same thing. That's awesome. Alright, alright, we've got some collect collectathon stuff going. Okay, okay. Nice uh, scenery here. Yeah, I assume we don't want to touch the light stuff. The, the salt, rather. This 
salt is salt bad for demons? I don't really know. I mean, I know it's bad for Devil Fruit users in One Piece. Well, even then, just certain Devil Fruit users, not like a universal thing for them. It's really just like Gecko Moria. Like, Gecko Moria is particularly weak to salt because of his uh, zombies. <laughs> hang on now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, bad. Bad moves were made, but I'm. Oh, well, there's something down there, though. Da -da -da -da, we found a collectible. Okay, alright. Well, we found um, an important collectible then. Not bad. Whee! Those really thin platforms disappear. So is that it then? Okay, so we got the dash ability already. We kinda had to wait a lot longer in Hollow Knight before we got that. Amazing we're getting to, getting it this early. Wow. Zoom. Okay. Okay. Well, can't I just do the... Can't I just do the quip warp, like in Hollow Knight? <laughs> I'm just saying. Wait, is it over here? Okay, it's actually just right here. I am genuinely curious if I could. Alright. Could just go to the eastern path. Which one should I go to? Let's go to this one. Like, I feel like I could just do the quip warp. <laughs> I should test that out. Then again, it might not... It might not save my progress in this game, per se. Wow, that was every kind of disastrous. Oh, I can cut you through the environment. Oh boy. Oh my... Gosh, this is just embarrassing. Okay, so we actually have four units of health. Oh 
I see that lapse in the wall there. Oh, I am a master of exploration, baby. Saw that lapse in the wall. Okay. I see the gimmick here. Jeez! Okay, that's kind of like Hollow Knight. Do I have to fight it? I don't really want to fight it under these conditions. Okay, good. Oh my god. Alright, so those flames really do act as checkpoints, even. Oh my god. Okay, I just had to dash there. Like, it looks like I should be able to make it. I clearly can't make it. Okay. I was just being really stupid there. Oh goodness, what are you? Okay, what? Well, I would like another checkpoint, please. Okay, treasure chest, fine by me. Lots, lots of lads. You're still glowing as if there's still something in you. Okay, so can you go across these spikes? Can we make it with our dash? Two, three, four. Oh, hello. Okay, just more platforming, fine by me. It's a skill point, that's that's great. Okay, just shortcut that, fine by me. Alright, we beat our first secret room. That is how I died. Well, good thing my essence is just right out here. Because we have to sit through the same load screen. God, how you actually... Okay, there. Jeez. Oh, these are platforms, okay. Another heart piece. That is delightful. Alright, that just leads me around back here, so great. Oh, yeah. So I cover every nook and cranny of the map. That's 
that's my style. Okura Kauso. Isa Ketaro Ina Isima Doraki. Hi, Kiran Dakos from Atao Kira Noenda. All right. Or Drake the Sixth, eh? Ooh, all right, all right. Archaeologists, I can get behind you. Yeah, all right, we got a little fanboy here. Of course. Almost like an avatar, I guess. Or just, or Samus. <laughs> okay. Ooh, you're a map man. Orenaika <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you're talking about that closed door. <laughs> well, I would like the map. I like the map, I like the map, I like the map. Give the car tomorrow. Dogmas, that's the name of the currency. Alright. Okay, just like a freaking Hollow Knight. Um, really don't really need these yet, so I'll just... Holy crap, that's expensive. Okay, so it reveals all the secret areas. Well, I like to just try to find those on my myself without spending all that money. Until then, uh, yeah. I think that all I have is the basic map, though. Oh, big chest. Well, I don't need a map to find that secret. I should actually go up there because the money disappears in this game. Yeah. Uh, let's go back here because I saw this hole. So do we need to be at a throne to do this stuff? Ah. Okay, we need to sit on a throne, just like in Hollow Knight, okay. Not, not gonna be as easy as frickin' Breath of the Wild, which I'm kinda thankful for. Oh, hello, important collectible. Oh, okay, is that how we're gonna open that house for that building back there? Are you a throne? All right, well, that's just perfect timing. Got a quick travel point. All right, let's just do this equip right now. So, all right, we got a chance to strike critically. It's fine by me. We got three skill points, brilliant. We can increase our critical chances again. Dang. Just a lot of it. Wow, what the heck? Is that oh, really all we can work on, really? It's 
it's, it's, yeah, just, just freaking why not? Oh, na oh, there's the dogma's magnet right already. I should have just went this way first. Oh no. Oh like, yeah, it does connect from here. Although we might have to like link around to all of these since it's a really big one, you know. Well, all right, that's cool. So let's just go back to the famished town and see if we can open that door. Why didn't he have for us? Ooh, a pirate hat, let's get it. Well, we can just get another heart container. Probably important. Ooh, this looks and sounds important. Good golly. Yeah, that's, this is, he's just got a lot of important stuff here. But I'll take the heart container. <laughs> And that'll just about do it for now. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want the pirate hat too, though. Sure. Sure. That we're also going to get a shine spark ability. I'd be surprised if we didn't. gonna get a wall jump, that's how I get up that place on the left. Oh, we really need that stupid magnet, wow. I worked hard to get that. Oh, interesting. 
Wow, so there's actually cyberspace technology in this world. That's awesome. You wouldn't expect that in like a dark fantasy setting, but I love it. Okay, we got the other people who've done this. That's awesome. Okay, it's just a little platforming course. I'm fine with that. I'm good at that. I think I'm already messing up my fall terrain, but oh well. Oh. Definitely messing up now. Uh. Oh, okay, yeah, I see what I gotta do there. Wait, can I just do this? Okay, that was terrible. Ugh, so right now I'm in, like, the yellow zone. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm just doing worse. Well, that is just not fair. Oh my god, I didn't realize it until I was too late. But yep, alright, now we got to the challenging aspect. Okay, that was absolutely terrible. It was good, though. Yep, number 713, Shireen Uno, the chosen one. Okay, so let's try to do better at it. Oh, so that thing is supposed to represent how well I did the previous time, right? So stupid. Oh! Alright, now I gotta dodge left here. Well, at least I'm going faster than I was before. Yeah, what's the benefit of going to the right there, honestly? Give it one more go.
Well, I got the silver time now, yay. Alright, that's enough of that. I can just see those getting really hard in the future. Yep, we're going really, 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 really high. Got ya. Now we gotta go all the way back and see where the bottom route leads. Maybe after we get another quick travel point. Oh, that is just not fair. That is just not fair. God, wow, that is just not fair. It's all gonna disappear. That is so stupid, honestly. Yeah, definitely don't open that without the freaking magnet ability. Just the way back, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, absolutely no reason to go this, or is there? Ah, oh, intriguing. The hole. The hole. I'm smart. The hole. Make up for the treasure elves deny just now. You're a big one. What the? Yeah, 
it also kind of follows me around like the strawberries and Celeste. So is it like a deal where I have to guide them to certain points before I'm able to safely collect them? Back to the pit that we are, we just crossed over. Yes, it does. Okay, so we got a shortcut now, I guess. All right. Shortcuts a necessity when you have loading screens this long. <laughs> I just love how instantaneous the health potions are. It's just such a refresher from Hollow Knight. Maybe we gotta hit that switch and it's gonna open the way up to that chest. And there's another chest. So maybe it'll open the way to this one, that one instead. No, we're going to that one, perfect. Bet you for sure this one is, like, timed. Alright, we made it, nice. It's a one-way shortcut. This is a battle room. Oh, just a heart piece. Okay. It's really dramatic for some reason. As if we're being attacked, but we're not. I bet you this is one of those rooms that would change in hard mode or something. Can we do that? Oh, difficulty. See, so yeah, let's go over and see how that looks. Ah. Well, we already beat the challenge. It still saves. Well, that's... well, this is cool. Yeah, so that's... that's... that's neat, actually. Alright, good enough. So that's actually neat, if we're curious how these places look in hard mode. Not bad. <laughs> 